Hi everyone, my name is Wolfsbane with two E's and I'm a Twitch streamer and content creator in Singapore. So I used to play Hearthstone competitively and have been dabbling in the world of card games. So I've been playing Magic the Gathering for almost a year now and you know as a relatively new Magic the Gathering player I was wondering you know it would be nice if there was a walkthrough of the vast world of Magic. You know, so as a beginner player, if you guys are planning to dabble in Magic, you know, you will find out there are many different ways to play the game and sometimes it can be quite confusing. And with that, I have a small guide on the different formats of Magic so that you guys can have a better understanding. Let's dive right in! To play Magic the Gathering, you can either play it physically with real cardboard or you can play it online on Magic the Gathering Arena or Magic the Gathering Online. The two main ways of playing Magic are known as Constructed and Limited. In Constructed, you strategically form your own personal deck with cards from legal magic sets. In Limited, you craft your deck from scratch with cards from booster packs, testing your ability to draft with limited resources. You will find that Constructed and Limited are available across Tabletop, MTGO and Arena. Constructed exists in two forms. The first form is usually played 1v1 with at least 60 cards in one deck. Each player has 20 life and you can have up to 4 of each cards excluding basing lands in one deck and 15 cards as a sideboard. Some of the more popular formats of the first form of Constructed are Standard, Legacy, Modern and Historic. So let's start off with Standard. Standard is a rotating format which means cards come in and go out of this format. 4 magic sets are released and added to Standard every year like this Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set. So when the 4 set releases, Four of the older sets in Standard will rotate out. So Standard can be played in Tabletop, MTGO and Arena. Let's talk about Legacy next. So Legacy is an eternal format which means that you can use any card that's available in Magic the Gathering. Except those that are banned of course. So if you have a Black Lotus, you cannot use it in Legacy format but hey, you can give it to me. Okay, aside from that, Legacy is available in Tabletop and MTGO. Next up, we have Modern that is not a rotating format, neither is it truly an eternal format. So you can play cards that are released from the Mirrodin block onwards. So you can play Modern on Tabletop or MTGO. Last, we have Historic. Historic is a non-rotating format and available only in Magic the Gathering Arena. So almost all the cards available in Arena are playable in Historic. So do take note that in Arena, you can only play cards from Ixland onwards and that includes some other older cards in Arena only sets. The next form of Constructed is a Singleton format. In a Singleton format, you can only play one of each card and the most popular Singleton format is also known as Commander, can also be known as EDH or Elder Dragon Highlander and it is one of my most favourite formats because I play it all the time. Commander is a multiplayer format popularly played with 4 players with a 100 card deck. So you will require one commander which has to be either a legendary creature or planeswalker if the card allows it. In commander, your commander starts in the command zone and not inside your deck. So each player has access to their commander throughout the game. So each player has 40 life and your goal is to crush every single player until you are the last man standing. Commander is also an eternal format which means that almost all cards available in Magic can be used except the banned ones. So if you like a legendary creature, remember to use it as your commander and build a deck around it. Sideboard is not a thing in Commander so please do not use wish cards. So Commander is available in Tabletop and MTGO. But why would you play MTGO? Just gather some friends and you guys can fight it out. Now we can talk about Limited. The two most popular Limited formats are Sealed and Draft. First, there is Sealed. So for Sealed format, you have to build a 40 card deck from 6 unopened draft booster packs. So this format is usually played 1v1 with players starting at 20 life and this is usually played at pre-release events. Second, there is Draft. At a draft, each player opens a draft booster pack and picks a single card before passing to the next player. Each player picks a card again from the booster pack they receive and the process continues until all cards in every booster are picked. Then each player opens a second booster and after all the cards are drafted, the same happens with a third pack. Once the packs have been drafted, everyone will build a minimum of 40 cards in a deck and they will fight it out 1v1 starting with 20 life. Both Sealed and Draft are available on Tabletop, Magic the Gathering Arena and Magic the Gathering Online. 
There are many other formats that you can try in Magic, but the ones that we went through in the video are the popular and more frequently played ones. Most importantly, you should find out what you like to play and also friends to play with so you guys can enjoy the game together. To find out more about Magic formats, you guys can have a look through the official Magic the Gathering website. So stay tuned for more MTG content as we go through this journey together. See you guys, bye!